Hi there, um, my quick wee tip if you're wanting to uh, make a signature and uh, you want colour on certain parts of the image but you don't want it in all, so say you had an image and you only wanted the, the yellow show through or the red show through there's a, a quick and easy wee tip you can use to um, to help you out with this so I'm just going to show you how to do that quickly so if you find an image um, haze is always good because you can find them. Um, there's a lot of yellow obviously in there pictures so I'll just take any old picture i just take this one and um, go ahead and open it up with a short photoshop now once you get your image you can kind of plan out what areas you want to um, work on so I've got um, here and I probably just want to focus on this main yellow bit here and have the rest of it black and white. Um, so what I want to do is duplicate the layer and click OK and you've got two copies of the layer and uh, on the front layer, the top layer, you want to go to image, adjustments, desaturate and it takes all the colour out of it. Um, and then so you can erase parts of this uh, and let it show through or hide parts of this more, um, more to the point you'll find out later. Um, you want to the layer mask to this. Okay, um, now quick word on layer masks. You can um, have hide all, which will show everything on the layer below through, and then if you paint on with white, because the mask will turn up black, I'll just show you. If you go hide all, it'll hide the whole thing, okay? But black represents hide parts of the layer and white represents show parts of the layer. So if, if I click um, hide all here, it's gonna because everything's black in the mask, it's gonna hide everything and the bottom's gonna show through because it's the only thing that's visible. Now if you paint with white on this, for example, um, if you click on the layer, make sure it's black and only ever paint with white on a black layer. And as you can see, um, it starts to show bits of this layer because I'm altering the mask um, so I can show the layer or if I just undo that and obviously you go to layer, layer mask and um, view all obviously it'll look the same um, because it's white it will show through it will show everything that's on that layer and obviously you can't see this one because everything on that layer has been shown um, but the opposite with this one, white as represents um, show and black um, hide obviously if you paint with black it will start to hide parts of that image so I've got my black here and take a brush and take a fuzzy brush I think they work best because then you can get a bit more license with when you're painting it and uh, it won't look so um, got such a hard edge it'll look kind of silly if you're not exactly neat so if you go for a kind of um, soft brush I always choose a large brush but it's too big so if you use the square brackets on your keyboard and uh, if I'll downsize the brush do you get the size you want and once you get the size you want just start drawing on the mask with black and it'll start to hide parts of that layer and uh, show through now I'm just going to speed this up and uh, show you the final result when I've finished Okay, so that's we finished, and as you can see, you can be really pernickety about all these wee bits, and um, you can spend ages going over them. Um, now, obviously, you can pick out certain colours if you want, like I've done, I picked out all the yellow. Quick wee tip if you um, turn on and off the top layer, you can see where the main areas of yellow you want to colour in are, which helps a lot. See if you miss any wee bits, then, like here, if you watch this area here. Because um, wee bits like that, they will uh, change colour if you turn it on and off and you can see where you haven't coloured in the mask to let it show through so you can, if you click it on and off you can see um, if you try it yourself you see that it will show areas of yellow 
so that if you ever get stuck you can uh, just have a quick look back and check where the yellow is I'm actually done now obviously you can pick out one colour like I did or change the brush stick you can go ahead and just colour in certain parts of the image say so I just wanted his mask done just colour in parts of the mask and then you can colour in the whole thing and you can like um leave the background black and white while you have a now obviously if I um if I leave the black background black and white there's not much um aesthetically there's not much difference but if you want a, a black and white background but a coloured image and I'll show you what the difference is it's yeah, else guy it looks um okay but if you want to draw attention to the main subject leave the background black and white and leave the main subject in colour and so that's basically the kind of thing you want to do and you can apply this to anything you want um, the other thing is if you want to uh, I don't know why you'd want to but you could colorize this layer so if I go to um, the layer one, just click, click on it I go to layer adjustment layer hue and saturation okay and then just change the hue and I'll change the color Okay, so only certain parts will change colour. For example, these areas on them, the background will stay the same colour. It's a nice feature. So you can have different kind of pink if you want. So I um, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, many happy hours of colouring certain parts of the images. So they can be used for SIGs or anything like that. So I um, hope you liked the tutorial and uh, I'll see you next time.